In today's match, Hong Kong won the toss and decided to bowl, putting Namibia into bed first. Having won the first match by 65 runs, the momentum was with Namibia going into this match as a win would mean a victory in the series and most importantly taking a 2-0 lead into the final match on Sunday. For Hong Kong, this was a match they needed to win to level the series one all and go into Sunday's winner-takes-all match. Jan Nico Lofty Eaton, 80. Leandre Lawrence, 63, Gerard Erasmus, 35, and JJ Smith, 23, were once again the stars of Namibia's innings as they all reached double figures as Namibia posted 280 for 9, setting Hong Kong a target of 281 to win the match and level the series. In their reply, Hong Kong didn't really put the Namibian bowlers under pressure to chase down the target. And although Hong Kong batsmen put runs on the scoreboard, the Namibian bowlers had a good day as they took wickets at regular intervals. Eventually, the host stifled Hong Kong batsmen as the visitors were all out for 118, with Namibia winning by 126 runs. Namibia's assistant coach Justin Kemp said the players did very well today and deserved the victory. Today, I think we uh, we certainly left some runs out there with a bat. Um, you know, obviously, Hoko Loft Eaton played very, very well. Uh, Luan also up front. Uh, I just think we gave you know hundreds away there. So that's a, a slight concern for us. A big, a big you know uh, motivation for our side is to get hundreds. So um, you know that was a slight uh, problem for me. Um, but otherwise, I thought we you know we scrambled to 280 pretty well. It's a good wicket, fast outfield. So but I think the guys really bowled well. I mean, they uh, you know it's a good wicket that. Um, so to win by that amount of runs tells a story and I think the guys really pulled together and, and, and bowled beautifully in the second innings. The coach of Hong Kong, Trent Johnson, said they faced a team with quality which has played lots of cricket over the past year. Yeah, I think obviously we're playing quality opposition who's played a lot of cricket in the last uh, couple of years. Uh, they've played at World Cups and, and done very well through there. So I think the, the three games here leading into Uganda has been a perfect, will be a perfect preparation for us. Uh, although our performance today wasn't what we expected, um, I think 280 on that wicket in the first innings was, was certainly chaseable. Um, but um, I think that our batting display in the second innings was pretty ordinary. Um, you know, there was no real responsibility shown, no value in our wickets, and um, I think that reflected in the, in the scoreline. So Namibia, you know, have gone 2-0 up in the series and, and thoroughly deserve that. The third and final match is on Sunday, starting at 9.30, and will be broadcast live on NBC2.